up, you John Cornet. You're watching the 10 year anniversary show of Cat Shit, Dog Shit, Cow Shit, Elephant Shit, Dinosaur Shit, Tuba Cabra Shit Show, Codex WF. Enjoy! I'm so fed up with everyone around me No one seems to care I'm just so far gone and nothing gonna change I'll never be the same It's always do this, do that Everything they want to I don't wanna live that way No, every chance they get They're always pushing me away It's never enough, no, it's never enough No matter what I say It's never enough, no, it's never enough I'll never be what you want me to be Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to XWF. This is the 10 year anniversary show. Hard to believe it was 10 years ago we started the show just the same way with the owner making his way down to the ring, and that is where we're going. Is he gonna get a. Don't tell me he's gonna get a fucking wheel, man. Can you imagine? Spin the wheel like the first episode of XWF. I'm up for that, man. I'm up for that. Either way, thank you so much for tuning in, people. It's been a great week so far. We return week. So many great shows. So many great matches on the underground. Um, I've really enjoyed my time. Thank you. And look at me. I'm wearing 2012 beard. Does that mean I'm gonna get explicit? Well, let's not go that far, but I thought I'd put the outfit on for you. Look at the owner, man, soaking up the adoration of the fans. Love to see it. If I was 2012 Bear right now, I'd be like, he's better than you. He's got more money than you. He's gonna drive a better car than you. That's what I'd do if it was 2012, but I'm not 2012 Bear. And the owner says 10 years, 10 whole years of XWF. And I'll be honest, it feels just like yesterday when I was here spinning my wheel. I told you! He said it feels like just yesterday when these shows were uploaded in four parts at 240p with terrible audio buzzing. But we have come a long way since then. Now, before we get into the action, I just want to thank every single person who has tuned in to even one show during the UCT return week. So many creators working so hard, and from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you. XWF is proud to be part of the UCT, and I appreciate everyone who watches, creates, and interacts with the show. Tonight's show will be a celebration of past, present, and future of XWF. I've got some surprises, and I'm looking forward to celebrating with you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come on! I just want to point out, I have recently got over COVID, so my throat is a bit sore, but look at this guy. Look at these fucking guys. Of course they're going to interrupt the owner's speech, man. It's Team Canada, Johnny Extreme, the ace, and though. These two, you know, ever since they came into XWF last season, they made their debut at Point and Point, a massive, impactful debut. And ever since then, they have had a great run here in XWF. But I don't appreciate them interrupting the owner's speech here tonight on the 10th anniversary show. I can't wait. Look at these guys. Look at the way Johnny walks, man. He's so fucking cocky, isn't he? <coughs> Look at him. God's sake. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're getting interrupted by Team Calendar. They're getting into the ring. The owner's standing his ground. Look at him, looking at him. Look at him, looking at him. He ain't gonna budge. And the owner says, well, 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 if it isn't Team Canada, I would like to point out that I haven't finished talking, but I'm sure you guys have something you want to say. So go ahead. And Antho says, you're goddamn right. You lot, shut up. Tell him, Johnny. What the hell, man? And Johnny says, I will. We don't care about the 10-year anniversary of Jibber WF. Jibber, what the the owner's face, man! And Johnny says, because let's face it, XWF history don't mean shit, Jibber. The only thing that matters in this company is me and Antho. So I suggest, owner, that you get your old ass out the ring and let me and Antho run the show tonight. And if you don't, well, let me just say, me and Antho might make you... Oh, look at Antho, man. He looks fucking angry as well, man. I wouldn't want to... The owner says, how dare you? You two want to come out here and interrupt me during the 10th anniversary show? 
That's bad enough, but now you want to try and intimidate me? Well, let me tell you something, Team Canada. You don't scare me, and you sure as well won't him intimidate me. So I'm going to book a match for tonight. A main event match. Oh, ho, ho. And Neona says it will be Team Canada versus the XWF World Heavyweight Champion Junction and a partner of his choosing hardcore rules. And who knows, maybe he will pick the wall as his partner, Jibber. Oh, and he pushed him away. The owner just pushed his way through Team Canada. He is that scared of him. I love to see it. And he said, he said, what if Junction chooses the wall as his partner? I love the owner, man. I love the owner. Legend of the industry. Glad to see it. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, that is our main event tonight. We'll be Junction and a partner of his choice going in hardcore rules, extreme rules against Team Canada. That's going to be a great match. Let's take a look at the rest of the card. You would have seen some of these announced on Twitter. Tobias Upson versus Dr. Khan in a rematch of the first ever match 10 years ago today. Well, not today, but 10 years ago. You know what I mean. There's a picture of it right there. Tobias Upson versus Dr. Khan. We're going to see it again tonight. Then we're going to see Banshee making a match against the debut of Rainbow, a Gen 4 talent here in XWF. Looking forward to seeing what she can do. We've also got Dave Prater versus Mike Jacobs, Tudor versus Chudy. I'm looking forward to it. Is Chudy even a word? I do not know. I'm a bit rusty on the commentary. You know what I'm saying? Either way, this is going to be a great match. We've got a Cut Your Teeth elimination match. Shane Robinson, Kid Wild, DJ Hero, Alias, and Jeff Gemini. All people that entered the XWF Cut Your Teeth challenge over the years. Only one can win. Looking forward to that. And it looks like we're moving on to the first match of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Back right there is the entrance music of Tobias Upson, and here he is. I'm really looking forward to this. Ever since this match was announced, like I said earlier, man, this is a it's a rematch from the first ever show, from the first ever show and match of XWF history. It was Tobias Upson versus Dr. Karn, and that's what's happening here tonight to open this show. I will tell you right now, Dr. Karn beat Tobias Upson. He made him tap out to the Dr. To lock in that match. And the question is, is Tobias Supson going to be able to get a win back 10 years later? I'd love to see it, but we know how good Dr. Khan is, man. I will say this, Tobias Supson has untapped potential. You know, this guy has been a great asset to the company ever since, ever since day one, really. You know, he was so young then, and he, he's definitely earned his stripes over the years, having a great run with the Internet Championship. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do here tonight. But who is he going against? Ladies and gentlemen, he is going against this man right here. A legend of XWF. A legend of XWA. A Hall of Famer from the XWF. A UCT Hall of Famer. A one-time XWF tag. Uh, sorry, a one-time XWF World Heavyweight Champion. The first ever XWF World Heavyweight Champion. This guy, you know, everything he has done over the years, and he is still here working his ass up for XWF, and I love to see it, man. I love to see it. I think these guys are going to have a great match, and I wouldn't want anyone else to open the show for a 10-year anniversary celebration of XWF, and that is why that card is here tonight. That is why he is going to do what he always does best, and that is work damn hard. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed Return Week so far. I have. It's not over yet. Hope you're enjoying my little criminal outfit for you 2012 Bear fans out there. What would I do if I was 2012 Bear? This is what I'd do. I'd say this is a wrestling match, and I don't like Dr. Card, and I don't like Tobias Upson. They're fucking idiots. But I ain't gonna do that, because it's not 2012 Bear, and you guys ain't ever gonna get 2012 Bear. Ladies and gentlemen, these guys locking horns. Look at this great chain wrestling ability here. Tobias Upson into a side headlock, putting his weight on the doctor, trying to wear him down with his headlock takeover. Do not underestimate the amateur wrestling background of Tobias Upson, you know, that's something that's underplayed, but this guy was in college wrestling, he was awesome. Swaps out to a ground headlock on Dr. Karn, Dr. Karn trying to find his way out, but Upson really putting his body weight, thrusting the hips into the hips of Dr. Karn to really hold him, pin him down to the ground, but Karn pulls the chin, puts him up to the ground, up to his feet, puts him in a side headlock, and now he's leaning in, leaning in that body weight, look at this Upson, 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 oh, rolls and pushes him away, the strength, you know, Upson's been hitting the gym, he's looking in great shape, man, looking in great shape, Dr. Karn grabs the wrist of Tobias Upson, first whip into the corner, Karn runs in, goes for a body smash, Upson moves out the way, using the speed of that, now grabbing the wrist of Dr. Card, Iris Whip bounces him off the rope, sleep from Tobias Upson, leapfrogs over him, what's Upson got in mind, look, grabs the wrist, no, Dr. Card pulls him away this time. 
Man, these guys very matched, very matched so far. Oh, he's with him. That's gone. Look at this drives to him with the shoulder check. Knocks up some right off his feet, and that right there is the weight advantage of the Doctor as he lifts up him to a standing base. Look at this. Oh, scoops him up. Wrestling take down from the Doctor. Beautifully done. Now the Doctor gets the leg hook for the cover. That is one. That is two. No, it's a kick up just before the two there. Bad to buy Simpson. He's still in the game. He's still alive. He's still breathing. He knows the action. Look at this. Dr. Carr scoop slamming up some slides over the back and a club in blow in between the shoulder blades. Now Irish whip from Tobias Simpson into the corner. Spin around. Clothesline. Beautifully done. Upson now turning Dr. Carr up to his feet. What has Upson got in mind? What has he got in mind? Oh, classic Upson with that parallel snap there and a kick in the chest. Right in the chest and now ups and down for the cover with the leg hook for the one, for the two to put Dr. Karn away but Karn gets a shoulder up. You know, one thing I will say about Tobias Upson is he's got very innovative offense. Look at this, goes for scoop slam, that goes for suplex, sorry, but scoops him through into a, into a cradle pin for the one, for the two, Karn to steal it. No, but Upson kicks out, reaching out to the crowd. Upson trying to get up to his feet. Oh, Karn goes in for a clothesline. Upson twists the arm. Kicks him to the abdomen. Strike to the face there from Tobias Upson. And now into a schoolboy pin. Hooking the legs. That's a one. Can he put Karn away with this two? And a kick out just after the two there by back to Karn. Great back and forth here from these two guys. You know, I'm really enjoying it. So look at this. Upson going for that. Going for that. No. Twists him around. Clothesline from the doctor. Cuts him down as he went for that modified Russian leg sweep. Karn torn and ups and up to his feet. What's he got in mind? Look at this head under the arm. Oh, the strength of Dr. Karn. Oh, God. <laughs> Throws him over the suplex toss there, man. Beautifully done. And again, this is the strength advantage of Dr. Karn. Look at this hooking the head under the arm again. Oh, here we go for a second time. And a scoop suplex again. Launching him across the ring with force and tenacity. Picking him up to his feet. What's Dr. Karn going to go three times? Charm. No, no, no. Strikes to the abdomen. Tobias ups him trying to fight back. Now Upson going for a suplex, no, oh, God! <laughs> oh, man. COVID hit me hard, motherfucker. Nice pin attempt there from Dr. Korn. And now Dr. Korn sitting Upson up. Look at this, drags him back down into a grounded headlock. And this is the expertise of Dr. Korn, because he knows that when it comes to cardio energy, Tobias Upson is the younger and fresher man. But what Karn will do is he will put his body weight on Tobias Upson. He will weigh down on him. He will squeeze that head like an anaconda right wrapped around your skull. And those those biceps are crushing the skull and throat and neck of Tobias Upson. And you start to lose air supply into your head, man. And that's what Karn's doing. He's trying to wear him down. Trying to build up that lactic acid. But Tobias Upson rolls him up, up to his feet. And that side headlock pushes him away. Look at this. Grabbing the wrist from Tobias Upson. Oh, God. Beautiful rotation. Forearm into the face of Dr. Karn. And that is what Upson needed. He needed to get out of that grounded headlock. And start building up momentum. And look at this. Rolls backwards. This is the innovative offense of Tobias Upson. Sweeps out the leg. Oh, drops down. And knee drop onto the legs. Beautifully done. Upson the grabbing Karn as he tries to get up to his feet. Upson trying to control the pace on a beautiful flatliner, reverse STO style, and now Upson for the leg hook cover for the one, for the two, to put Dr. Karn away, and Karn kicks out on 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, I'm not sure, very close either way. Upson back up to his feet now, and look, he's in control of the pace, in control of the battle, in control of the fight, and that's what you need, big forearm smash in the face, and a second one from Tobias Upson, look at this beautiful snap there, down to the ground, see the position, oh, neck snapper from Tobias Upson, I'm back to Karn, off the rope, here comes Tobias Upson, off the other rope, beautiful, jumps into an elbow drop, right into the chest cavity, and off the ropes again, as Dr. Karn tries to sit up, and Upson, European uppercut into the face. And now Upson grabbing the leg hook for the cover to put Dr. Karn away. That is one. That is two. To put the doctor away. No! Dr. Karn kicks out on 2.9. Upson controlling the battle. You know, Karn was looking very strong at the start. Beautiful drop kick in the back of the head there from Tobias Upson. Using everything he has learned over the last 10 years of XWF to try and put the doctor away and get the win back that he could not get at the first episode of XWF. Shockwave and drives through, drives through him with that beautiful... Glitter Blizzard, uh, Glitter Wizard, I don't know what it's called, Three, no, oh god, super close, super close. That's Karn running in, Karn runs in, goes for a clothesline, but it's a speed advantage of Upson, scissor sweeps him onto that middle rope off the rope, beautiful drop kick into the shoulder again. 
who you can see that's Khan trying to use the ropes to lift himself up. That lactic acid starting to build up in his body, and here comes Upson running in. Oh, that's Khan throws him over the top. Upson jumps, but look at the spring back's over. Elbow right in the face, and that's Khan falling down into a seated position. And Upson sees an opportunity. Run. Oh, God. God, he went for a forearm smash. Khan just moved. Upson smashed his forearm against the turnbuckle, and now trying to use the ropes to lift himself up. And Dr. Khan, big right hand to the face, like a brick in your forehead. And a second one, and a third one, and a fourth one, and Khan trying to rig up the engine. Oh, what? What's he doing? What's he doing? He's grabbing the legs. Oh my god, oh my god, reverse the Oh my god, onto the canvas with force. Mega tons of it. That could be it, ladies and gentlemen. That's Khan getting the leg hook. That is one. That is two to put Tobias Upson away, and Tobias Upson kicks out. What the hell, man? What the hell? So close, but that shows you the heart and soul that Tobias Upson has always had here in XWF. That's Karn picks him up to his feet. Look at this. Lifting him up to a fireman's carry. What's Karn got in mind? Turns him around. Karn, 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 Karn. Oh, God. Slams him down. Hooks the legs. Feet over the shoulders for the cover. One to hold him down. Two to pin him. Three. Oh, God. Upson kicks out at 2.9999999. Infinite. Infinitum. But it is not enough, and that's Karn picking ups and up to his feet. Look at this, gets him in the front face lock. Elbow shot in the back of the head with force. Dr. Karn, and a second one, clubbing the back of the head with that elbow. Irish whip, ups and up the rope. What's Karn got in my big back body drop, launching him, and you can see ups and holding his lower back into a seated position. Karn off the ropes, Karn off the ropes, and a big boot in the forehead. And now Khan in position as he taunts up and up to his feet. What has Khan got in mind? Oh, double axe handle, classic. Double axe handle again, up to his feet. Oh, here it comes. Oh, power slam from the doctor. Beautifully done. And now he picks up and up to his feet. This could be a signal of the end as he bounces him off the ropes with the Irish whip. Big hip toss. Look at that. The lower back of Upson shattering into pieces. Shattering into a thousand pieces of bone and splinter, and look at this sky high, classic Dr. Khan for the cover one, for the cover two to put Tobias Upson away, no, Upson still in the game, still fighting, what a way to open the show here tonight, Khan just looking at Upson thinking how the hell did he kick out of that, as he beats his chest, and you can hear the fans liking this, because he strikes him in the face, he's going to go for the operation, operation Upson holds on, elbow to the abdomen, turns around Upson, Upson suplex reversal from the operation, and that is what we are talking about. Upson scouted the move. Upson knows the doctor's offense, and Upson knows how he's got to counter it. Dr. Khan lifting himself up into the corner. Big clothesline there, straight to the face, and a second one from Tobias Upson. Dr. Khan lifts himself up into the corner. Upson, oh my god, Stethoscope kick! The Stethoscope kick, the signature maneuver for the government's cup. Yeah. One, two, to put him away, to put him away, no! No! No, Upson is still in the game. Upson is still breathing. Somehow he's holding on, even if it's by a freaking thread. Even if it's by one little freaking millimetre thread. And now that's gone towards him. It's sitting up for the operation for the doctor lock. The doctor locked the move that Tobias Upson tapped out to ten years ago. Ten years ago, and the doctor's applying it. Knee in the back, arm around the forehead, stretching back, arm hooked, knee in the spine, and the vertebrae, and he's bending it back. He's bending it back. He's applying that pressure. He's applying that force. He's applying that danger. And you can hear the audience. They don't want to see Upson tap. Not again. Not like ten years ago. Not like ten years. Upson knee to the face. And again, a second one, and the doctor lets out. Upson runs in. Upson runs in. Look at this. Oh, acid trip. No, no, no. Khan counters the acid trip with the arm drag. Now Khan runs. Oh, so, oh he school goes in through. He school goes in through to steal it here tonight. One, two, ten year anniversary. Three. No. God, so close. 2.9, but it's not enough. And both men are tired. Upson using those ropes to lift himself up. Look at Khan, man. He thought he had it. Oh, God. Double axe handle from Upson. Runs in. And another one. Khan up to his feet. Goes for a clothesline. Upson under the legs. Oh, beautiful. Listo kick in the face. And Dr. Khan goes into the corner. And you can see Upson celebrating. Runs in. Oh, here we go. The signature maneuver. The bionic bulldog. And he nails the signature maneuver. Driving the head of Dr. Khan into the canvas. For the cover. For the leg hook. One, two, to beat him. Like he should have done 10 years ago, but it is not enough. The doctor kicks out the signature Bionic Bulldog here tonight. What a match. And you can hear the crowd, man. They are on fire here tonight. These two men put it all on the line.
You know, I'm really proud of both of the effort these guys are putting in here tonight. And up some now torn and back to Karnop. He knows he's got to hit him with everything he's got. He's got to bring out everything in the arsenal. Going for that ups and down. No, no. Strike to the face with an elbow. The doctor blocks it. Goes for a clothesline under the arm. The, oh, wait, wait. Acid trip. A signature maneuver. Signature maneuver. Ups and bringing out everything he's got. One, two, everything in his repertoire. Three, no. Still not enough. Still not enough. Look at Upson's face, man. He's like, what have I got to do? He's got to hit that ups and down, man. It's the only way he's taking this home. I'm telling you now, the acid trip didn't work. The bionic bulldog did not work. And now he's going to the top rope. He's going to go for that diving elbow. He's going to go for that diving elbow as he taunts Dr. Rupp. If he can hit that pinpoint precision in the forehead, this could be all he needs. Here he goes. Wait, that's not Oh, God. He pops it in the face. What the hell? He caught him right in middle with a jaw punch. One, two, to put him away. No! No! So friggin' close, but it is not enough. Dr. Khan, you could see on his face, he thought he had it, man. Gravity came down straight into his fist like a fucking clubbing strike through the face, but it wasn't enough. Khan sits him up. Oh, God, he's torn into the fans, man. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna go for a Dr. Luck again? Is he gonna go for a Dr. Luck again? No. Oh, he went for it again, but Upson need his way out. Upson runs in, grabs the wrist of the doctor, bounces him off the ropes. Look at his arm drag, launching Dr. Khan across the ring. Khan straight up to his feet, Upson runs in. Khan! What the hell, man? Cross body with the leg hooked for the cover one, for the cover two, to put Upson away, and Upson kicks out again. What the hell, man? These two men going out. This is main event. This is fucking main event level. Oh, Dr. Khan, operation, operation. Oh, God, he jumped over and he backflipped out of it. He counted it, he counted it, he counted it. And now Upson torn in Dr. Khan up as he reverses the operation. Khan doesn't know where he is. Upson slips behind, hooks the arms. Upson, 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 Upson down. And he hits the finishing maneuver. He hits the finishing maneuver. Upson hooks the legs of Dr. Khan for the one, for the two. For the three and ups and gets him here tonight. What a win. What a frigging win, man. Beautiful match for these two. And Upson finally gets that win that he wished he could have got 10 years ago as he rolls the doctor over from the ups and down special move for the one, for the two, for the three. It was like poetry in motion. And look at this, man. Look at this, Dr. Korn. Upson pointing to him. He extends the hands out and these two shake hands just like they did 10 years ago, man. But this time, Upson comes out on top. Beautifully executed match from these two. Really enjoyed it. Mega props to Upson. And look at that, man. 10 years ago. 10 years ago and today. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Upson celebrating with the fans. A massive win for Tobias Upson here tonight on the anniversary show. Proud of the kid, man. Seen him come a long way over the years, and he's beating Dr. Khan here tonight. That is something that not many people can say they have done. I mean, I've never beat him. I've never wrestled him. But I can tell you, if I did, I wouldn't beat him. <laughs> Either way, ladies and gentlemen, Big D backstage, going over to Brendan X, and he says, Hey, kid, listen, I'm not here to cause trouble. Just wanted to be here to watch the anniversary show, but I wanted to come and find you and say I'm impressed with your work. Man, look at the size difference, man. And Big D says, I was fundamental part of building this division in the old days, the no-holds-barred division, and I'm glad to see you trying to expand and evolve it by bringing in new guys. And Brendan says, look, I appreciate the kind words, Big D, and if you ever want a shot, you know where I am. I reckon we would kill it out there. And Big D says, maybe we would, kid. Maybe we would, or maybe I'd kill you. Because remember, if Big D gets in the ring with you, Big D gonna fuck you up. Keep up the good work, kid. <laughs> Big D's leaving. Now, and I like that. A little bit of appreciation from Big D to the current No Holds Bar champion, Brendan X. Love to see it. Wait, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. We are moving on. Birds of Prey making their way down to the ring. The XWF Tag Division champions absolutely love these guys. Love their work. You know, XWO, XWF Originals. You know, these guys have been here since the start, man. Beautiful, the first ever Tag Division champions. And now the current Tag Division champions so you know 10 years ago they were the champs and now we're in a place where once again these guys are the champions man i love their work you know i was really impressed seeing them on pwf uh, just just a couple of days ago as part of return week where they went and uh, challenged lale unfortunately lale used some questionable tactics to pick up the win against them which i wasn't as big of a fan of you know i think those guys are a great tag team you know especially when they came here in tremors and fought birds of prey for the titles um so i was disappointed that lale did what they did 
but you know, each man themselves, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't agree with it, but they might not agree with me. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, the birds of prey looking like they're grabbing microphones. Let's see what they're gonna say here tonight on the 10 year anniversary of the XWF shop. Without the to the fans, man, I absolutely love it. And Hawk says, XWF fans and viewers, we wanna thank you for making 10 years of XWF and 10 years of birds of prey possible. What's fucking just flipping around man and Hawk says you are the lifeblood of this company you are the reason we come out here and do what we do and Falcon says that's right so we want to give you something tonight we want to defend these XWF tag division titles tonight and Hawk says we know there are all sorts of people in the building today from XWF's past so this opportunity goes out to any team who wants it you want these belts come get them Hawk putting out a challenge man open challenge to anyone from XWF's past Who's gonna take him up now? Wait, what? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what the hell, man? They're released! He said anyone from the past? The extraterrestrials are here. They got new freaking alien armor. These guys from Planet Zordon. Planet Zordon, is it? I don't know, man. Whatever. Fucking nonsense. Either way, the extraterrestrials, Alien Timmy and Alien Tommy, are here tonight on the Yet Stop UF 10 year anniversary. These guys are more over than they should be, man. Look at the way they walk, man. I, I don't get it. I've never got these guys absolutely mental, crazy. Alien Timmy, Alien Tommy, the extraterrestrials from Planet Zordon. Their music is some alien language. I, I don't get it, man. I never, like I said, I never got it. But. Can you imagine if they could dethrone the Tag Division Champions, the Birds of Prey, here tonight on the 10 year anniversary show? I mean, part of me wants to see it, but at the same time, I just know it ain't gonna happen. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, that is the XWF Tag Division Championships, and they go on the line here tonight. The Extra Terrestrials return to XWF TV here tonight as part of the 10 year anniversary to take on the open challenge and look at them, Alien Timmy, Alien Tommy, which one's which I do not know, the birds of prey, Hork in white, Falcon in green, I can tell you which ones are which there, but the alien guys man, I don't get it, I don't get it, either way, let's do this, 10 years. Senior official holding, holding the titles up and look, Alien Timmy or Tommy is starting off as the legal man, I don't know man. Look at this, Falcon, Alien Timmy, kick to the yeah, kick to the knee, off the road, Falcon, oh, beautiful forearm smash, catching him on the rebound, and now Falcon gets the leg hook for the cover, that's one, two, three, it's over. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, kicks out just after the two. Nice move there though, nice counter by Falcon as Alien Timmy gets up to his feet, front face lock there, from the one half of the Tag Division Champions, Falcon, nice forearm smash, look at this, grabbing the wrist, Irish whip, oh, reversal there from Alien Timmy, goes to sleep, and Falcon onto his arms, look at this, backflip, oh, and leg scissors, beautiful, flips him through, and a kick up from Falcon, and that is why the Birds of Prey are the Tag Division Champions, you know, Falcon so athletic in that ring, love watching him, love seeing him in action, Irish whip into the corner, look at this, Falcon tags in, Hork, Court jumps over the rope, nice athleticism for a big guy, bounces him off the rope, beautiful double, double elbow attack there from the Birds of Prey, Falcon lifting Alien Timmy up to his feet so that Hort can slam him down with a neck breaker drop, beautifully done, you can see Falcon walking around, he's now not the legal man, Hort is the legal man, and Hort picking Alien Timmy up to his feet, beautiful working strike there from Hort, Irish whip into the corner, Hort runs him with a clothesline, oh here he comes out, drags him out with a bulldog, Beautifully done, and Hawk now going for the cover. Can he put Alien Timmy away for the one, for the two, to retain the titles? No, Alien Timmy gets a shoulder up just in time, just in time. You know, some people would say that the body armor of Alien Timmy will protect him. You know, these space suits, these alien suits that they wear. I don't know, man. Front face lock, oh, look at this double team action, and a beautiful double neck breaker there from the Birds of Prey. And now Falcon, again, going for the leg hook cover. That is one, that is two, to retain the titles here tonight. But Alien and Timmy kicks out. You know, every time they kick out, it's fine, but it's wearing down more energy, more sugar glucose in the bloodstream, in the words of Ben. Look at this beautiful flip. Oh, spike hit, but oh, and then double knees to the face from Alien and Timmy. The extraterrestrials now trying to build a bit of momentum as they counter the offense from Falcon. What's Alien and Timmy got him on just over a beautiful arm drag. No, this is a thing, man. These guys, they look like a joke, but they can put out a move every now and again if you ain't watching them. Look at this. Twist in the arm, slamming fake Falcon down, face first onto the ground, flip off the ropes. Beautiful insecurity there from Alien Timmy. 
You know, this is where you start to believe the extraterrestrials could win this thing. Snapmare there from Alien Team. He runs in. Beautiful neck snapper there. Driving the head of Falcon into the ground. And now for the cover. That is one. For the cover two. To put Falcon away. No. Falcon gets a shoulder up. You can see Alien Tommy in blue watching his tattoo partner, Alien Timmy, in green, onto the middle rope. And now Alien Timmy taunting Falcon up to his feet. Falcon trying to get up. Try oh, look at this! Go goes for the elbow, but Falcon goes straight through the legs! And now Falcon throwing Alien Timmy over the top rope and knocks him up with a shoulder to the abdomen. Alien Timmy crumbles to the outside. And now Falcon started to rev up that engine, started to rev up that fire, started to throw wood on the fire as he bounces off the rope. And Falcon, Falcon, oh, tope to the outside and he wipes out Alien Timmy. And wait a minute, Alien Tommy now in the ring. Aliens with speed, with speed, oh, dives through the ropes and takes out Falcon. Dive, dive, dive. And now Hork getting onto the top rope. Oh, we're getting bodies, man. We're getting bodies. Dives to the outside. Massive clothesline taking out Alien Tommy. Bodies freaking everywhere. And that is what you get in a tag team match with these two teams. Hork throws Alien Tommy back into the ring. Kick to the face of Alien Timmy there by Falcon. And now Falcon going after Alien Timmy. Just bear in mind he ain't the legal man, guys. Just bear in mind he ain't the legal man. Falcon picking Alien Tommy up to his feet. The, I think they're just trying to take the partner out now why they can. So the Alien Timmy's on his own elbow shot to the abdomen from Alien Tommy. Elbow shot to the abdomen. And his third elbow shot. Falcon lets go of the grip on Alien Tommy. Trump kick to Hork's face. Knocking him off the apron. And Alien Tommy turns around. Oh, Meteor into the face of Falcon. And now Alien Timmy back in the ring. The legal man. Look at this. Torn into the fans of Falcon trying to get up to his feet. Timmy getting pumped up. Timmy, Timmy. Oh, beautiful European uppercut. Falcon up to his feet. I don't think he knows where he is. I don't think he knows what day it is. He's in cuckoo land. Oh, to driving cross body there from Alien Timmy. The extraterrestrials starting to believe. Oh, to the outside. Cross diving body. Cross vault. Whatever you want to call it. He takes him out. And Alien Timmy now the fans starting to cheer for these guys, man. Do not underestimate the extraterrestrials. Falcon trying to get up to his feet. Timmy with a springboard. Oh, God. Super kick from Falcon. Catches in midair. That's got to be it to retain the titles here tonight. Ten year anniversary. One, two to retain the title. Oh, Tommy. Tommy springboards in. Wipes himself out in the process. Look at that. He rolls out the ring, but he broke the pin. And he gave Timmy just a second, just milliseconds away from losing. Just milliseconds away, but he gives him hope. Falcon goes for a kick. Blocks. Elbow shot from Timmy. This is Timmy's opportunity to start finding some way to win this match. Timmy slaps his chest. Alien Timmy from Planet Zord on Irish Whip. No, Falcon reverses it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, double knees to the face from Alien Timmy. To Alien Timmy, drop kick in the face of Falcon. Falcon crawl it, crawling his way to the corner. Timmy on fire. Look at this. He's starting to believe. Like Neo from the Matrix. Wait. Hort rolls in and schoolboys him through. Look at the strength in Hort. Just dead lifting him up. And Falcon jumps up to the top rope. Springs around like a freaking slinky. Oh, here it comes. Oh, troll. God, Eagle dive. The finishing tag team finisher. Off the birds of prey. Leg hook from Falcon. One, two, three. And the birds of prey retain the X. WF Tag Division Championships here tonight on the 10 year anniversary. They retain the titles against the extraterrestrials. But I'll tell you this, man, I think Alien Tommy and Timmy put on a great match here tonight. You know, we take the piss out of these guys, but they can go. That's a great tag team match here tonight. Really enjoyed it. Another strong defense for the Birds of Prey who are having a great reign with that title so far. You know, I'm really appreciative of the CWO for putting the Birds of Prey essentially as the runner-up to Tag Team of the Year. They didn't quite win the award, but I really appreciate how much uh, CWO gave Birds of Prey credit for what they've done with those titles over the years. So, shout out to the CWO and the awards there. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, I'm interested to see what's going down next on the show. As I know, we've got some stuff planned, you know, but I don't know everything. Oh, wait a minute, Belle Morden going backstage into Treble's locker room, and she says, Treble, there you are. And Treble says, what the hell do you want? And Belle says, oh, you know what I want. You've got something that belongs to me. Oh, boy. And Treble says, correction, did belong to you, but not anymore. I'm the rightful champion now, and you, Belle, are at the back of the queue. And Belle says, you might think that, Treble, but as soon as XWF returns next season, I'm coming for you. You don't impress me, and I'll make sure the world knows that you winning Women's the Year was a joke. Just you wait. Oh, God. Belle and Treble, I mean, I would want to see it. I ain't going to lie. 
but I can feel that friction there. Wondering what else we have planned for you on this special show. Say it ain't so. Late, no, no, ladies and gentlemen. Angus, the man I call Pathetic Angus, and they even put it on his, they put it on his freaking name badge. What is Angus doing here, here tonight in XWF? Shockwave 10 year anniversary. This is supposed to be a celebration. This is supposed to be a celebration of XWF. Not this fucking guy. Why is he here? I am not happy right now. I can feel my fucking blood boiling. I hate this guy with a passion. And I mean that. What is he doing here, here tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Why is he here? Whoever gave this the green light, I am fucking annoyed at you. I beat you up. God's sake, man, what the hell is this about? I'm looking at him again in the ring. He looks like a he looks like a fucking prick just like the time he did last time. I am not happy about this. I'm looking at him torn into the past. They don't like you! They don't fucking like you, man. What are you doing here? Pissed off, man. Pissed off. Here tonight. This was supposed to be an anniversary show celebration. I'm fucking angry right now. Look at him looking around. He, he can't even he doesn't even know what he's doing in a wrestling ring. Last time I got in there, I beat his ass. I'll do it again if I have to. What's he doing? What the hell is he doing? He's like doing... What the heck? Was he a magician? God's sake, man. Why is this guy here? I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to take this up with the XWF management. We should not have Angus here. And why has he got a microphone? And Angus says, shut the fuck up. Ten years ago, I told you this show was polluting YouTube. Just like all these other stupid shows in the so-called UCT. Well, I'm still sick of it. And I've come here tonight on this so-called special anniversary. Right, that's it. No, I ain't having this. Where's my phone? Where is my phone? I'm calling Drake Stacy. <laughs> We're going to need a commentator here because I promise you I will not be in this commentary desk much longer. I'm ringing him. Drake. Drake Stacy, my guy, come. We're gonna patch you in for commentary, man, because I gotta do something. Are you alright with that? Great, great. Okay. Right, fuck this. Damn good job, I had wrestling gear on under the stupid criminal outfit. I'm gonna go beat this punk ass son of a bitch. Uh, la ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome. Uh, I am Drake Stacy, of here for a, uh, a very impromptu matchup. The bear is heading to the ring uh, to face pathetic Angus here tonight for the XWF 10th anniversary show. Uh, I had not planned on being here, or being patched in here tonight uh, for this for this show, but but here I am, and I'm I'm ready to I'm ready to call this this action. Last time we saw these two collide, Bear absolutely demolished this 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 mark. Will we see history repeat itself? Will Angus pull the upset of the century and beat Bear clean in the middle of the ring? We don't know. But what I do know is that this match is happening right here, right now. Jesus Christ. This is something else, ladies and gentlemen. This is the type of shit that you can only find in the XWF. And I am, I am, I am hyped to see this. Let's go. Let's get it going. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Bear versus Angus. Both men just staring each other down from opposite corners of the ring here. There is, you can cut the tension with a knife between these two men. There is bad blood between them. They've hated each other since the moment they met. And now here comes Angus charging in. Bear picks him up. Look at this, like bangerang! A bangerang from Bear! A bear a ring! Ha ha! Now calling him to his feet. Bear getting the crowd behind him. Here he comes. Big disc as clothesline takes. Angus right out of his shoes and dabs on him. He dabs on him. Bear just just giving the people what they want. And now between the legs, look at this. Look at this pile driver. The pile driver on Angus for the cover. That's one, that's two, it's over. The bear. My good friend has defeated Pathetic Angus once again in the rematch of the century. Take a look at this. Bam! Just, God! Just decapitates him and then 
adds the exclamation point on this match. The, the pile driver putting him away for the one, two, three. Bear getting points on the return week. You love to see it. A big win for this man here tonight in front of the XWF, XWF home crowd. They are loving it. Hopefully we never see pathetic Angus here in an XWF ring ever again. But hey, ladies and gentlemen, this was fun. Uh, I was just here enjoying the show, but you know, I'm more than happy to uh, you know, offer my services when they are called upon. So thank you all for having me. Uh, thank you uh, to the XWF. Thank you to Bear for uh, basically killing that man. And uh, yeah, I'm going to turn it over to Bear and I'm going to go enjoy uh, the rest of the show. I'll see you later. And that right there is why I am 2012 Bear, motherfucker. I will fucking destroy you, Angus, you piece of shit. What the hell, man? Okay, well, right, I'm, I'm pumped up. But Steve Connor! What the hell? Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Connor is here. If you do not know, this guy retired from XWF due to a neck injury. This guy is the tag team partner of Mike the Viper Jacobs. This guy was one half of the tag team, the masters of professional wrestling. This guy also trained Dave Crater, so I'm glad to see him here tonight. It's been a long time since we've seen since Steve Connor in an XWF arena. I'm always pleased to see him. He's looking pretty dapper in that suit, if I don't say so myself. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for seeing me fucking destroy Angus, the piece of shit. I'm fucking, fucking hate him, man. I'm so pissed off about it, but I did destroy him. Either way, we will move on. We will move on because Steve Connor is in the ring. Look at this guy now. The fans appreciate him. And you can feel it. I can feel it. I love it. What? Um, no, no, you Angus. Don't you fucking get in that ring now. I'll come back down and kick your ass, you piece of shit. And Angus says, hold up, because I'm not finished here. Bear got lucky, and I want my rematch. So why don't you jog on before I give your neck something else to... Oh my god, are you serious? And Connor says, you're stepping on some mighty fine ice, my boy. So why don't you get out of here and let the real men do some wrestling? And Angus says, what is some washed up has-been gonna do? Make me? Oh, Steve Connor strikes up! Just fucking get him, Steve! Fucking get him! Oh! Extreme Dragon suplex the signature. He still got it. He still got it. I love it. I love it. Anytime Angus gets destroyed, I love it. And Steve Connor just showed him why the fucking Extreme Dragon suplexes. And look at the fans saying that Steve Connor still got it. I agree. Fuck Angus, piece of shit. Fucking kill him. Fucking piece of shit, prick. Fucking dick sucker. Steve Connor says, now, to do what I came out here for, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce the next match featuring, in my opinion, two of the best XWF original talents, the first of which I helped to train, the cannibal Dave Crater, and he will be facing my old tag team partner, one of the greatest all-round pound-for-pound wrestlers in the world, the Viper, Mike the Viper Jacobs, may the best man win. Man, okay, look. That is a very nice touch from the owner to ring up Steve Connor to get him to come out here and introduce this man. I appreciate this man. Dave Crater making his way down to the ring. And I I approve of what Steve Connor said. You know, Steve Connor said Dave Crater is one of the best XWF originals. And I agree. I don't think this guy has ever truly had enough shots in the XWF. But every time he has stepped in the ring, he has delivered every single time. Win or loss, he has put on a great match. And I stand by that. And you know, you only have to look at this guy. Anything else he does, man. He went over and did the breakout tournament for uh, OCW. A lot of people slept on Dave Crater, man, but he went out there and put on great matches. You know what I'm talking about? Dave Crater, very talented individual. He can do everything. He can do it all. But if you want somebody else that can do it all, if you want a guy that can wrestle, that can strike, that can submission, that can dive, that can do anything you want in a wrestling ring, the epitomizement of wrestling, that is this guy here, Mike the Viper Jacobs. A killer instinct to an IQ that not many people can match when it comes to a wrestling ring because Mike Jacobs is so good at everything he does. And you can see it in his daughter. You can see Penny the Python Jacobs. Every time she steps in the ring, she has that same killer instinct, that same in-ring IQ, that ring awareness. Every single thing this guy has, 
he has in spades, and he has it better than most, I promise you that. My divider Jacob's always been such a cornerstone of XWF. Every time he steps in that ring, he delivers, I swear down there. More than anyone, Mike the Viper Jacobs is an incredible freaking talent. And what I like about Mike Jacobs, man, is that he knows it. If you look in the eyes, there is never a doubt in this man's eyes. There is never a fault that he can't do something. He knows he can do it, man. He breathes this business. He breathes what he does. And he delivers it five stars. He delivers it every single time. And that is why he is the Viper. Here tonight, they pray to Incredible, Mike Jacobs, incredible, two great XWF talents, I'm looking forward to this match, I have been since it was announced, let's get this freaking show on the road, because this is gonna be freaking wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. Dave Crater, Mike Jacobs, locking horns, and I can already feel the fire, I can already feel the energy from these two guys, imagine wrestling your children, imagine wrestling the guy that taught you everything you know, you've gotta show him that you can do it better than him, and that is where, the, that is where Dave Crater is right now, with Mike and Viper Jacobs, these guys have only ever wrestled once in XWF history, and Mike Jacobs came out on top. Can Dave Crane get back that win here tonight on the 10 year anniversary show? Wait, headlock take over and look at this wrestling ability from these two men. Second to none, second to none. Beautiful legs wrapped around the head, squeezing, choking, compressing the throat. Dave Crane kips out of him, pushes the legs away, and look at these two straight into a wrestling position. Look at this jockeying for position. European uppercut countered by Dave Crane, a forearm smash. It's almost like fighting a freaking shadow in here, and I love it. Kick to the abdomen, Irish whip off the rope. Dave Crane with four sleeps under him goes Mike Jacobs. Look at this belly, the belly from Mike Jacobs. Crane strikes his way out. Look at this, kick to the knee. Dave Crane goes round the arm, hooks round the arm. Cradle cover, cradle cover, cradle cover. Look at Legs, can he pin him? Foot the cover one. Foot the cover two to put him away. But a kick out there by Mike Jacobs. Straight up to his feet. Crater runs in. Oh, Dave Crater. Mike, Mike Jacobs scoops him in to an inside Crater. Foot the cover one. Foot the cover two to put him away. No. Crater kicks out. And Mike Jacobs up to his feet. Like I said, you can always see how focused this guy is. Crater using the ropes to lift himself up. Pushes the arm away. Oh, shoulder block. But neither men want to move. Blocks the punch. Kick to the abdomen from Dave Crater. Blocks the chop. Strike to the face from Mike Jacobs. Slides a past man, these guys counter each other. It's freaking counter action out here. I love it. These guys find an answer for everything. Spine buster, no hooks up through the arm arm drag. Dave Crater countering Mike Jacobs. Mike Jacobs countering Dave Crater. Straight into a forearm smash there from Dave Crater and Mike Jacobs holding his head there. Rocks him a little bit, I would say. And now Dave Crater grabbing the wrist. Irish whip bounces him off the rope. Belly to belly suplex from Dave Crater. Smooth. Absolutely smooth. Leg hook for the cover, that is one, that is two, put Mike Jacobs away here tonight, no Mike Jacobs kicks out. There's one thing to catch him with a belly to belly suplex, but it's another thing to pin him down to the mat for three seconds, and you ain't done that yet, Dave, you ain't done that yet. Dave Crater grabbing, Mike Jacobs throws him into that turnbuckle, look at this, lighting up the chest with a knife edge chop, and a second one from Dave Crater, and now Dave Crater leaning into him, using his body weight and momentum to Irish whip him, running with force, oh, cut him through him! A knife through butter is a clothesline from Mike Jacobs. It'll catch you and rock you something rotten. And now look at this, Mike Jacobs. Mike Jacobs, Mr. Newton Driver. Slamming him down into the ground. They put the sips up. Oh, and now Mike Jacobs put in those little strong quad muscles around the abdomen of Trey Crater and squeezing air out of his lungs. And you can see Crater trying to reach those toes, trying to reach those toes to the bottom rope, but he can't quite reach. And Mike Jacobs now just squeezing and twisting and pushing the air out of him. Look at him really applying the pressure. You can see Crater's face, the agony, elbow shot, elbow shot, elbow shot for a third time. Lucky and Mike Jacobs lets go. Crater, Crater runs in. Oh, Mike Jacobs, Mike Jacobs, Mike Jacobs, oh, spins him around with a power slam into the ground. Spin an Oklahoma slam for the cover. That is a one. That is a two. And Mike Jacobs to put him away. No. And this is what Mike Jacobs does, man. Every time you build momentum, he will cut you down. I've seen it a thousand times and you will see it a thousand times more. Strike to the face. He will wear you down. He will wear you down, and every time you try and build momentum, he will cut you down something rotten. Look at this elbow. We got a neck breaker there from Mike Jacobs. Oh, picking him up. The strength. Such a clean as a whistle. Clean as a whistle, buddy. Slam. One. Two. To keep Dave Crater down here tonight. And Crater gets his shoulder up. It was close, but it was no cigar here tonight on 10-year anniversary. Shockwave, thank you all for tuning in once again. Mike Jacobs now torn in Dave Crater up to his feet. You can see Crater's tired. Mike Jacobs with a clothesline. This man, 
a, a Mike Jacobs clothesline, it'll shatter your freaking chest, I'm telling you, it'll fracture your skeletal structure at a second one. And now Mike Jacobs again, still in pristine position. This guy, pristine position, and a, oh, going for a third one, but Mike Jacobs, oh, look, the greater jumps up, oh, beautiful head scissor takedown as he used momentum and balance to get the better of Mike Jacobs, and Mike Jacobs trying to lift himself up, Dave Crater after, oh, Crater, Crater, oh, springboard, oh, triangle drop kick to the outside, goes Mike Jacobs, cascade him like the Niagara Falls onto that hard floor, and now Dave Crater starting to believe, starting to build up fire and energy, and the fans are starting to get behind him, and the engine starting to rev, and he's starting to put his foot on the gas pedal, off the rope, oh, dive to the outside, he wipes out his mentor in Mike the Viper Jacobs, and Dave Crater starting to feel that energy from the fans, starting to vibe with the fans. Dave Crater so good at what he does, man. And look at this now. Dave Crater picks Mike Jacobs up, rolls him into the ring. This could be all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. This could be all she wrote as Dave Crater picks Mike Jacobs up. Signature belly to side slam. Beautifully done. Hook straight into a cover. For the cover one. For the cover two. Three to beat him. No. No, he kicks out on 2.9. 2.9. Mike Jacobs still in the game, and Dave Crater was being suffocated, he was being drowned, but this is now his opportunity to turn the tides in his favor, to turn the needle, smashing the face of Mike Jacobs onto that top turn, but strike to the face, strike to the face, strike to the face, strike to the face, and you can feel that Dave Crater is putting the coals on the fire, look at him torn into the fans, and they're, be they're, be they're behind him now, they're behind him, Dave the Cannonball Crater, where he got his name from, the freaking Cannonball, love to see it. And now, Dave Crater puts Mike Jacobs into a fireman carry. What's he going? Mike Samoan drop. Drives him down straight into a cover. No seconds wasted. No seconds wasted. One, two, to put his vehicle away. No. Mike Jacobs still in the game. Dave Crater, though, you could see in his face what has he got to do, but he knows that everything he has been taught leads to this moment. Stay on him. Wait, Mike Jacobs, Mike Jacobs, oh, extreme jab and suplex and both men are down. Dave Crater caught by surprise. He took his eyes off the prize for one second, and this is what Mike Jacobs does. He's tired. He's confused. He's battered. He's beaten, but survival instinct kicked in for that extreme German suplex to buy him some time as he uses the ropes to lift himself up to his feet. And now Mike Jacobs going up to the top, a rare thing to see, and Crater still trying to shake off the cobwebs from that extreme German suplex, Mike Jacobs, a missile drop kick, oh my god, but the cover one, that's gotta be a two, that's gotta be a three, no, shoulder up, nearly knocked his head off his shoulders, man, You, I, I'm surprised someone in the crowd didn't catch his freaking head, what a missile drop kick, I told you Mike Jacobs is a whole package, he can do everything, strike to the face, strike to the face, and Dave Crater's trying to stand on his feet, that third strike, and Crater goes down. And you can see that killer instinct in Mike Jacobs. That little shine, that little glint in his eye. Strike to the face and Crater standing up but still looking like a strong wind could blow him down. And maybe it does with the third strike. And Dave Crater's just lying there and Mike Jacobs now sizing him up. Sizing him up. What has he got in mind? I see it. Oh no. Extreme German suplex for a second time. Oh, his elbow to the face. Crater fights back. Crater fights back. Oh, it's Crater kick. Crater kick. The signature maneuver, pin him, pin him, pin him, pin him, one, two, put him away, put him away, no, Mike Jacobs kicks out, come on, come on, look at Crater's face, even he, that self-doubt is starting to kick in, but you can't doubt, you can't doubt, you've just got to keep going, you got to keep fighting, you got to keep surviving, forearm smash there from Dave Crater, and a second one, rocking Mike Jacobs, and Mike Jacobs looking like he could fall over, and a fourth one from Dave Crater, staying on the attack as he bounces him after, oh, Crater, cut off by Mike Jacobs, this is what I said, man, he will always find a way to cut you down, hooks you on face buster, sit out style from Mike Jacobs, and now Mike Jacobs picking Dave Crater up to his feet, what's he got in mind, look at this, Viperplex, Viperplex, no, Dave Crater knows the effect, and he fights out of it, fighting out of it, goes for a scoop slam, no, Mike Jacobs fights out of that, Irish whip from Mike Jacobs, reverse from Dave Crater, Dave Crater, whoa, 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 she threw into a calf killer, calf crusher, whatever you want to call it, I don't care, but it's locked in, and now Dave applying that pressure, and listen to the fans there behind him, listen to the fans there behind him, can you imagine if he could make Mike Jacobs tap out here tonight on the 10 year anniversary show, applying that pressure, look at Mike Jacobs, he's got nowhere to go, He's got nowhere to go and the fans on fire. 
Mike Jacobs in a tricky predicament as Dave Cradle applies that pressure. Everything he has learned from his judo and he elbows his way out. Mike Jacobs will not fucking tap. I promise you that man. He will not tap until the birds come home. Spy Buster! Massive spine muster, and now Mike Jacobs grabs it. Oh, you, you want a submission? You want to play submission games? Mike Jacobs will play it. He will play it with you as he puts in the sharpshooter. And he's applying that pressure and Crater's fingertips, reaching for that bottom rope. So far, so close, so far, so close. But when you're in that position, every single millimeter counts. Every single centimeter counts. Every single millimeter of a millimeter of a millimeter counts. And I'm telling you, there's plenty of millimeters right there, and Crater can't reach out. Listen to the fans, they're behind Crater, but that is shooting down your spine, through your leg muscles, through your agony intensitive muscles. Crater turns around, Crater strike to the face, Mike Jacobs, let's go Crater, using those quads to push him away. Crater up to his feet, runs in, oh Mike Jacobs hooks under the arm, what the hell man, what the hell, hit under the leg, Mike Jacobs flips him, oh my god. Mike Jacobs has a thousand moves in his move set, man, and that's just one of them. Rolling Crater over. This could be over. That is one. That is two to beat Dave Crater here tonight. And Crater kicks out. Listen to the fans. The fans want nothing more here tonight than Dave Crater to beat Mike Jacobs. But it ain't an easy task. I promise you that. It ain't an easy task. Big strike and Crater goes down to one knee. He can barely stand now. But Mike Jacobs just cutting him down to size with a strike. And another one. And another one. Mike Jacobs kicked to the leg, and this is where the pinpoint precision of Mike Jacobs just striking every part of your body. This is what he does, kick to the kneecap, and Craig just trying to hold himself up to the ropes. And now Mike Jacobs torn into the fans. He torn into Dave Prater. He knows he's going to put the stank on it. He knows he's going to put the stank on it with a big move. And this is a dangerous predicament for Dave Prater. Pulling the arm. Crater holds onto the top rope. Strike to the other one. Crater hit. But oh, Mike Jacobs goes crumbling down to the, to the canvas. And now Crater's torn him up. What has he got in mind? What has he got in mind? Jacobs up to his feet. Oh, Crater rolls through. Sunset flip rolls him through. Mike Jacobs up to his feet. Oh, power bomb. Power bomb from Dave Crater. Look at this, Crater torning him up. What has Crater got in mind? Mike Jacobs just about up to his feet. Crater Maker! The Crater Maker, the finishing maneuver of Dave Crater. Put him away here tonight. One, two, three. Dave Crater gets him. Dave Crater picks up a win here tonight on the 10 year anniversary of XWF Shockwave finally beating the man that trained him for all those years. What a match from these two men. What a match. Leg hook for the cover. That is a one. That is a two. That is a three. A sunset flip straight into a power bomb. And look at this. Steve Connor in the ring. Oh, look. Jacobs, man. Showing respect to his trainee, the guy that's finally beat him. And these three in the ring. That's a picture for you. That is a freaking picture for you. Steve Connor, Dave Crater, Mike Jacobs, XWF. I love it. Absolutely love it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. We've got more to come. I hope you're enjoying the show. Up next, I believe it is Banshee versus the debuting Rainbow. The first Gen 4 talent on XWF. What the hell with the Morgan? Is that Angus? The Morgan just took out Angus back. What the hell, man? Oh, he's picking up. Hit him with a stunner. Yeah, oh, he stayed. The Morgan stunned him. And the Morgan says, that's what you get if you mess with my man Bear. And just remember, I'm still the UK representative. <laughs> that's why I love the Morgan. I haven't seen him in years. I hope he comes and gets a drink with me after the show. That is amazing. And Angus is dead at the hands of the Morgan. Love to see it. Love you, Morgan. Either way, we're moving on, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this show on the road. This is the debut of a Gen 4 talent here tonight on XWF Shockwave 10 year anniversary. Her name is Rainbow, and there's been a lot of hype behind her now. You know, XWF management have posted about Rainbow a few times now, and you know, there's got to be a lot of impressed people in the XWF for her to get a shot here tonight against none other than Banshee. You know, Banshee is arguably the, the, the most renowned XWF original when it comes to the women's division. So this is a huge match for Rainbow. You know, if she can put on a good, a good impression or even beat Banshee here tonight, that would be a very impressive start for this Gen 4 talent. You know, she's got an interesting look to her. And I've heard many great things, you know, she's been on the indie scene, she's been absolutely killing it. And I'm glad that XWF has signed her, and I know we've got more signings to come. But ladies and gentlemen, she's got a work cut out for her, because here, from Limerick Island, is Banshee, the first ever XWF Women's Champion. She had a great run with that title, and I will tell you now, man, every time Banshee gets in the ring, she delivers incredible performances. And I, I will tell you this, man, speaking of return week... Banshee was on the top 10 matches of 2021 as 
as said by the CWO, Banshee vs. Belmore, they had eye for an eye. You know, it was pretty high on the list, if I remember correctly. Either way, even if it wasn't, it was in the top ten. I mean, uh, uh, you know, uh, of all the matches across the UCT, so many great matches. Yeah. So to just be in that just shows you how good Banshee is. Rainbow's got a work cut out for her, but let's see what she can do in the ring with Banshee here tonight. Banshee goes to grab her. Rainbow with a toe kick to the apple and fights her way back, grabbing the wrist. Irish whip from Rainbow slides under her with a sleep leapfrog. Nice athleticism from Rainbow goes to grab her. Banshee hooks the arms, pushes her away from the lockup. And now Banshee with the Irish whip into the corner. Banshee runs in, goes for a clothesline, drop toe hold onto that middle rope there from Rainbow. After all, Banshee, Banshee, Banshee up to the six. Flying Buster cuts her down to size. That is what Banshee does. Leg hook from the cover. That is a one. That is a two and a kick out just before the two there by Rainbow. You know, this is Banshee, she ain't gonna piss around, she knows where the game man, she knows the tricks of the trade. And now Banshee's slowing Rainbow down early. She knows that this girl is an athletic individual, she knows that she relies on high flying and jumping around, so Banshee's gonna ground her. She's got the idea in her head already, just using that stretch on the arm with the knee and the spine. Ground her, slow her down, weaken her, I like it. Look at Rainbow trying to get up to her feet, trying to get up to a standing base. Elbow shot to the abdomen of Banshee, goes for a kick, Banshee blocks it. Elbow to the kneecap there. Rainbow falls into the turnbuckle. Iris with from Banshee, and here she comes running in. Rainbow moves out the way to speed advantage. And look at this! Oh, beautiful! What the hell was that there? She spanned like twice in the air! For the cover, that is a one to put Banshee away in a kick out just before the two there by Banshee. Banshee getting up to her feet as his Rainbow grabs her in a front face lock. What has Rainbow got in mind? A European uppercut hooking right under the door, rattling Banshee. And a second one there goes for a kick. Banshee blocks it, spins over the kick and kicks over the wrong one right in the face. And now Banshee going for the cover on Rainbow. That is a one. That is a two to put Rainbow away and Rainbow kicks out just before the two. These two women trying to get a feel of each other. It's very difficult to wrestle someone who you've never you've never had the chance to be in the ring with, especially someone like Rainbow. And look at this beautiful pay dirt there from Banshee off the rope with force. And that right there could change the tides of the battle for the long run. That is one. That is two. That is a three and a kick out on about 2.5, I would say. Rainbow down, realizing that yes, she was very good on the indies, but Banshee is one of the most experienced women on the XWF roster, at least originals. Smash in the face right onto the top turnbuckle there from Banshee, strike to the abdomen, strike to the abdomen again. And now Banshee grabbing the wrist of Rainbow, Iris whips her into the corner, Banshee runs in, goes Rainbow trying to put two feet up to block it, Banshee kicked it, jumped over the top rope. Look at this man, this is the, this is the expertise of Banshee Springboard, clothesline cuts through her. Driving right into the ground hard. Leg hook for the cover. That is a one. That is a two to put Rainbow away here tonight and Rainbow kicks out again. Look, Banshee, I thought she I think she thought she had it for a second there. She caught her by surprise, that's for sure. You know, you gotta have appreciation for Rainbow. She put her two feet up to try and counter it, but Banshee's always one step ahead, it seems. Rainbow up to her feet, Banshee runs in, oh Rainbow under the arm, struts her down with the neck breaker. This could be the momentum shift, the gear change that Rainbow needs, goes for a kick, Banshee blocks it, Rainbow jumps up and kicks her and kicks up. And now Rainbow turning to the fans, Banshee trying to get up to her feet, off the ropes with speed, Rainbow, Rainbow swing blade there. Nice, beautifully cutting her down to size, and this is Rainbow starting to build momentum, that is one, that is two, to put Banshee away and a kick out on 2.5 there. Banshee's still in the game, but Rainbow is starting to find her feet in the XWF ring. And if she can continue this, this could be a good position for her. She puts Banshee up. Look at this. Oh, knee in the chest. Knee in the chest. And Rainbow off the ropes. Just be on knee in the face. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. And Rainbow leaning back on the rope. She's starting to believe. You see a little smile on her face. Banshee trying to get up to her feet. Rainbow. Oh, look at this. Oh, wheelbarrow arm drag. Split leg style. Launching Banshee into that turnbuckle, and now Banshee trying to lift herself up and watch Rainbow got in mind runs in. Beautiful drop kick in the chest. Banshee trying to stay on her feet. Rainbow, Rainbow, elevated flatliner, drives her and turns her straight over, straight into the pin, wasting no time. That's a one. That's a two to put Banshee away here tonight, and Banshee kicks out. Razor sharp, danger close. Rainbow showing what she can do here tonight against Banshee Man. Banshee was looking very strong at the start, but now Rainbow started to bring back the force. Little two strikes, kick to the abdomen. Iris whip from Rainbow, what she got in mind. Oh, Banshee sidesteps her. Banshee, Banshee, Banshee runs in. Oh, big pop up drop kick right in the jaw, cutting down the momentum that Rainbow had started building up. And now look at the Banshee torn to the fans. Banshee torn to the fans. Rainbow lifts herself up into the turnbuckle. Banshee European uppercut. 
classic Banshee, classic Banshee, as she lifts Rainbow up to her feet, and again, Iris whip into the corner, oh here we go, second time's a charm with the European uppercut of Banshee, hits her with force, and now she's torn in for a third time lucky, a third time lucky, and Rainbow trying to get up to her feet, oh wait, 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 oh beautiful capture suplex! Rainbow crawling from that offense, man. That rocked her something rotten. And now she's using those ropes to try and lift herself up. And what's Banshee got in mind? Turn around. Banshee, Banshee clotheslines her straight into the turnbuckle. And Rainbow falls into a seated position. Oh, I know where this is going. I know where this is going. Signature Banshee sniper rifle clothesline right in the chest. And Rainbow rolls into position. And now Banshee climbing up to the top. She's going to go for that cartwheel soap. And she nails it. Signature move. Leg hook for the cover. That is one. That is two. This could be over for Rainbow. Rainbow kicks out on 2.8. Danger sharp. Danger close. Showing a lot of heart and soul is Rainbow here tonight in her debut on the 10 year anniversary of XWF Shockwave. But Banshee controlling the pace strike to the abdomen. Banshee, uh, uh, Rainbow down to one knee. Off the rope comes Banshee. Oh, drop toe hold onto that bottom rope. Oh my god. Banshee just ate that rope for freaking breakfast, ladies and gentlemen. Serve it up with freaking fries. And Rainbow runs in. Knife edge chop. Drop kick. And Rainbow started to build up momentum once again. After a big clothesline cuts Banshee down to the ground hard. What's she doing now? The way she's walking. Look at this. Rolling roll, roll the arms. Rolling the arms. Banshee, Banshee, Banshee. Oh! Drops an elbow right into the chest of Banshee. Is Rainbow unorthodox? Little dance, but elected. One, two, to put Banshee away. Here's the night. No, Banshee kicks out. And look at Rainbow holding her head. I think she thought she had her after that flurry of offense, but it was not enough. And now Rainbow torn in Banshee up to her feet. What has she got in mind? What has she got in mind? Lifts Banshee up to her feet. Look at this knee to the abdomen. Banshee up onto Banshee's shoulders. Wait, Banshee grabs her by the tights. Banshee, Banshee, but oh god, yes, sit out power bomb. Sit out elevated power bomb. One, two, that's gotta be it. Three, oh my god, Rainbow kicks out. Nearly seconds away from the three count. Look at Banshee just looking at her. I think she thought she had her for sure, for sure. And now Banshee kicked to the knee. Rainbow down to the knees. Oh, and a kick in the chest cavity. And Rainbow still trying to stay alive as she's using the ropes to just try and get herself up to her feet. Leaning into the turnbuckle. And now Banshee, head under the arm, puts Rainbow up onto the top rope. This is a dangerous predicament for you, Rainbow, right now. This is a dangerous predicament. Look at Banshee going for that reverse suplex. Oh, strike to the face, strike to the face. Rainbow fighting for survival and another one. Banshee falls off the top rope. And Rainbow slides down to the apron as she taunts Banshee up. Banshee doesn't know where she is right now. Rainbow leaning into ropes, leaning into ropes. Oh, God, flipping center. Right into the chest and Rainbow torn into the fans. You can see Banshee crawling, trying to get herself up to her feet. She was not expecting that. Leaning against the ropes, Irish whip, all reversal from Banshee, Banshee back, buddy drop, no, Rainbow jumps over, slips under the arm, turns around, wheelbarrow ball, oh, German suplex, oh my god, Banshee countered it with a German suplex from that wheelbarrow, unbelievable, and Banshee runs it, oh, Blackwater DDT, the signature maneuver, Banshee actually nails the signature maneuver, Blackwater DDT, with both legs hooked, one, two, that's gotta be it for Rainbow, no, Rainbow kicks out! Man, the fans getting behind these two here tonight. What a showcase. What a debut for Rainbow. Win or lose, she has gone out on it. Banshee, lament. No. Rainbow pushes her away. Banshee runs in, kicks down. Lament, lament. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, twist of fate from Rainbow. Signature maneuver. And now Rainbow lining Banshee up for her finishing maneuver. I've heard about this. It's called the Rainbow Road. And if she can hit this, maybe she could... She could beat Banshee here tonight. Rainbow rolls it. Oh, God. Banshee moves out the way. Right onto her chest. And Rainbow's running up to her feet and eats the lament from Banshee. The finishing maneuver crawls into the cover. One, two, three. And Banshee puts Rainbow away here tonight on the 10 year anniversary of XWF Shutway. But Rainbow has absolutely nothing to be ashamed of here tonight. What a match. Look at this move, man. What an incredible move. But Banshee just about moved in time. And that set up a lament. And that was lights out. Nobody's home. One, two, and three. And Banshee puts Rainbow away. What a win. You know, Banshee always delivering. Always delivers here in XWF. Great match. I want to see more from Rainbow. Absolutely. You know, I think she showed what she can do here tonight against one of XWF's best. But it was not enough. Banshee takes the win here tonight. Props to Rainbow. Look forward to seeing more of you in the next season, hopefully. But for now, Banshee celebrates with the fans. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I want to thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate all the support over the years. 
Next up, we've got a cut your teeth elimination match. Shane Robertson, Kid Wild, DJ Hero, Alias, and Jeff Gemini. Five competitors going against each other. Then, our main event will be Junction and a partner of his choice versus Team Canada Extreme Rules. Really excited for that as well. Even way time to move on, ladies and gentlemen, because making his way down to the ring right now is none other than a guy who never got his shot in XWF, Jeff Gemini. You know, this guy was supposed to enter the Cut Your Teeth Challenge. For those of you that don't know, in the old seasons of XWF, Cut Your Teeth was a challenge for people from other promotions that come to XWF, and it was very successful. Everyone in this match was in that challenge at some point. Jeff Gemini, however, never got his match. He was booked, but Caesar Dan attacked him and took him out, so he never got his match. And I know that Jeff Gemini regrets that now, because he always wanted to wrestle in the XWF. So tonight is his chance. And if he could beat the likes of DJ and Alias and Kid Wild, that would be an incredible redemption arc for this guy. You know, I know he's going to work his ass off. I got high hopes for Jeff Gemini, man. Got a lot of respect for the guy. Now, Shane Robinson, a guy that was trained by Domination. If you don't know who Domination is, you need to go and watch some old UCT, man. But Domination, core brawl development. It was a promotion where Domination was training people. And I can tell you now, man, that the people that trained at that promotion also got to train under the tutelage of guys like Kid Wild and Lula. That's important to know, man. And Shane Robinson trained there. So I think it's going to be interesting to see how he interacts with Kid Wild, a guy that trained him at one point. You know, but Shane Robinson, he's a big, strong guy. And his Cut Your Teeth challenge, he was very clever. Because he was the only guy that came out and challenged for a title. Because he knew about the Aftershock War. See, back when we had a show called Aftershock, if you challenged the internet champion on that show, they had to accept. So what Shane Robinson done was, in his Cut Your Teeth challenge, he came out and he challenged the internet champion, which at the time was Tobias Upson, who we saw wrestle earlier. He couldn't beat him, but it was a great match. Upson came out on top. Either way, speaking of Kid Wild making his way down to the ring is Kid Wild. And let me tell you a little something about Kid Wild's Cut Your Teeth challenge. He challenged Damage in a No Holds Barred match, and he beat him. Kid Wild beat Damage. You know, it was thanks to an interruption from Luke Loyans, but that was a huge win. It was probably, arguably, the biggest cut the teeth win in the history of the challenge. You know, Kid Wild had a great match, and I'm glad to see him ever since he returned at the Gladiators Gauntlet. I've always liked Kid Wild. And now, making his way down to the ring is Alias, an alias man. I've loved Alias ever since, ever since I saw this guy. I've always been a fan of Alias, and over the years, he has created such an iconic name for himself, you know, across many promotions, but when Alias first appeared in XWF, he was representing PWF at the time, Platinum Wrestling Federation, and he challenged Cork, I believe, or was it Inferno? I don't know, man. It was a long time ago. I should have wrote some notes. Either way, Alias won. Alias came out on top, great guy, great wrestler, has always been impressive and I'm glad to see him return to XWF. I hope he's booked for more shows, I really do man. Really enjoyed his title match against Junction on Tremors a few months ago and I'm glad to see him here again here tonight on the 10 year anniversary of Shockwave. And ladies and gentlemen, the final competitor in the Cut Your Teeth Eliminator is... Just in time! It is this guy, D. J Hero, absolute legend of the UCT, you know, absolutely love DJ Hero, man, ever since he returned at Eye for an Eye, right at the start of the year, he has been great, man, DJ Hero has been great, ever since, man, ever since day one, always been a fan of this guy, whatever promotion he's in, he's always worked his ass off, one of the hardest workers in UCT, I will stand by that, and DJ Hero's Cut Your Teeth Challenge was actually the first Cut Your Teeth Challenge, and he went against Triple D, 
now known as Jamie Triple D Lakey, and he super kicked him in the mouth and pinned him, and I loved every second of it. It was a pretty good match, though, to be fair. But, you know, Triple D and Jamie Lakey um, and DJ Hero, never been friends, never will be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Elimination Rules. Let's get the show on the road. DJ with the forearm to Jeff Jarrett. Oh, the alias takes down Shane Robinson. And now Kid Wild going in with forearm smashes to alias. DJ Hero fighting Jeff Gemini with strikes. Kid Wild swaps Alias into the corner. Nice strikes to the face and Kid Wild kick. Kid Wild kick. Spin around kick in the face and Alias goes to a seated position. Oh, DJ grabs Kid Wild in a roll up. Trying to take him out early. One, two, and a kick out just before the two there by Kid Wild. Watch that. Jay Robinson drives through. DJ Hero with a big clothesline and now stamping on the chest cavity of Alias. DJ up to his feet, European uppercut by the big man that is Shane Robinson, and DJ goes down, Kid Wild turning down the guy that he once trained, Iris whips him into the corner, runs in, elbow to the face there by Shane Robinson, Jeff Gemini runs in with a kick to the abdomen and chest cavity, and wait a minute, Kid Wild, Kid Wild, clothesline in Jeff Gemini over the top rope, crumbles to the outside. Back in the ring, Alias runs over, striking Kid Wild on the back. Look at Alias, you know, one of the best strikers in the game. People underestimate the striking ability of Alias using his shoulder blocks. And now look, Kid, Kid, just that mud hole stomping Kid Wild into the corner. Alias moving out of the way, and now look, Alias changing his view, changing his target. Two, Shane Robinson, cross chop, spike headbutt, Alias, Alias, European uppercut. The big man takes down the big man. DJ Springboard, oh, like a knife through hot butter with a springboard. Taking down Alias, DJ for the cover, can he eliminate Alias? One, two, no, Alias gets a shoulder up, not enough. Shane Robinson really feeling that offense, trying to find his way up to his feet, but DJ picks him up and gives him a helping hand, forearm smash to the face, rattling him, and a second one rattling him. And a third one rattling and goes to grab it. Oh, Shane Robinson just throws DJ over the top rope. Oh, now Kid Wild once again coming for the guy that he trained for on Smash. Strike to the face. Strike to the face from Kid Wild. Grabbing Shane Robinson. Irish whips him into the corner. Runs in. Knife edge chop. Snap there. There from, from Kid Wild. A throw drop kick in the side of the head of Shane Robinson. Shane Robinson rolling under the bottom rope. And now Kid Wild turning his focus to Alias. Picks him up to his feet. What's Kid Wild got him by a toe kick to the abdomen? Irish whip bounces Alias off the rope, slides under him with a sleep. Look at this! Oh, front flip clothesline from Kid Wild. V I N T A G E. Vintage. I love it. Oh, wait. Jeff Gemini up to the top rope. Dives in. Oh, claw man. Diving elbow to the chest of Kid Wild. Takes him off his feet. Kid Wild rolls out to the, to the outside. And now Jeff Gemini putting his focus on Alias. Oh, look at the strike combo. And Alias goes down to a senior position. Drives to him with a cannonball. Does Jeff Gemini. You know, you can feel Jeff wants to prove his ability here tonight. One, to put Alias away, and Alias kicks out just before the two. Big match for Jeff Gemini. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh! Pulls him down with a hot shot onto the top rope. That's Shane Robinson. Jeff Gemini turns around, shoulder block to the abdomen from Shane Robinson, grabbing the head. Oh! Smashes his face on the apron. Could then his fucking cranium. Smash it, crack it, fracture it. Shane Robinson getting in the ring now. Big man versus big man, the two biggest men in the match. And Shane Robinson, look at this, twisting the arm. Alias slaps the arm away, toe kicks him to the after. Big strike. Some of the best strikes in the game. A step by it and another one from Alias. Chunky, chunky, chunky. Hey, Alias, Irish whip DJ in the ring. Oh, look at that vintage, vintage classic DJ with that arm drag. Launching Shane Robinson. Alias runs it. Oh, nice uppercut counter there from DJ. Grabbing the hair drop kick in the chest. Launching Alias. The force of DJ Hero. Alias rolls out the ring and now DJ lighting up the chest of Shane Robinson with knife edge chops. Irish whip smashed into the corner with force. Oh, nice clothesline there. Trust buddy. And now DJ up to the top and a small springboard European uppercut. Classic DJ Hero leg hook for the cover to put Shane Robinson away. Elimination one, two to put him away. No, Shane Robinson kicks out. Sits up, still alive, still breathing. DJ, DJ drop kick to the back of the head. Absolutely timeless. Wait, Kid Wild's back in the ring. Oh, grabs DJ. DJ slips behind him and clubs him in between the shoulder blades right on the back of the neck as well. And now DJ throws Kid Wild into the turnbuckle. Runs in on Kid Wild. Sidesteps him. Bypasses him. And now Irish whips and throws him over the top rope. DJ holding on. Kid Wild runs in. DJ. Oh. Shoulder block. Oh. Oh. Sunset flip power bomb over the top. Sunset roll. Wait. One, two. Oh. Kick in the face. Shane Robinson. Should have let him pin him. Clothesline. DJ under the arm. Forearm smash there from DJ to Shane Robinson. Another strike to the face. And now DJ torn into the fans. What's he got in mind? 
high octane energy coming from the Le Championne himself, DJ Hero. And look at this, lining him up for a dive. Looking left, looking right. DJ runs in. Jeff Jeremiah, oh, he pulls the rock down. And DJ goes flying out to the outside, cascading down. And now Jeff Gemini sees the opportunity. Tope to the outside, and it takes out Shane Robinson. I told you, I told you, Jeff Gemini wants to prove himself here tonight. The chance that he never got, man. The chance that he never got. Oh, and a Tope to the outside. He takes out DJ Hero. Listen to the crowd getting behind Jeff Gemini, man. I told you, he wants his opportunity, and he's going to do whatever it takes to prove that he should be in this match. And now Jeff Gemini lining up. Kid Wild as he's trying to get up to his feet, trying to get up to his feet, stalking him, stalking him like a predator on his prey. Oh, big kick to the face of Kid Wild and Jeff Gemini torn into the fans, soaking in the energy of the fans. And wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Alias up, Alias runs in, Alias and oh, dog shot, clothesline, Lariato, one, two, three, and Jeff Gemini's eliminated at the hands of Alias. He had a good run, you know, you put in the effort, man. But a dark short clothesline will put down the best of men. And now Alias taking the strikes. The Kid Wild knife edge chop on the back. Kid Wild falls into the turnbuckle strikes on the back by Alias. And what's Alias got in mind as he turns Kid Wild around and look at this. Puts him up under the top rope. This is a bad place to be. Big strike there from Alias going up. Oh, he's going to go for a super superplex. A super superplex head under the arm. Kid Wild strike to the chest. And another one. Kid Wild go buster. Oh, off the top rope comes crashing down to the ground. Does Alias. And now Alias trying to get up to his feet. Kid Wild sees the opportunity. Front drop kick. And Alias goes crumbling down. And still refusing to stay down. Alias using the ropes to lift himself up. Kid Wild kick to the abdomen. Off the roll. Oh, signature chiropractor from Kid Wild. Leg hook for the cover. That is one. That is two. They'll eliminate Alias 3. No. Alias, man. One of the most resilient motherfuckers in the game. I won't tell you that much. He kicks out. Turn around. Oh, God. Took his eyes away from Shane Robinson, came running in, clotheslined him over the top rope. And now Shane Robinson taunting up Alias, who just ate a chiropractor. Sean Robinson, oh, German suplex. Sean Robinson showing the strength of this guy. And Alias refuses to stay down there. Look, oh, hooks the leg, hooks the leg, hero suplex. And this right here could be enough to eliminate Alias at the hands of Shane Robinson. One, two, to eliminate Alias. No, Alias kicks out again. I told you, man. You have to put a gun through the skull of Alias to keep this motherfucker down. DJ up to his feet with a clothesline. I see Robinson runs in and a second clothesline on Shane Robinson. Under the arm, he tries to fight back. DJ pop a power on American Warner. Shane Robinson popped him up for a pop up power bomb, and Shane Robinson now trying to get up to his feet. DJ assessing the situation, keeping an eye on every competitor. That's why he's so good at what he does. And Shane Robinson is in a bad place as DJ starts hitting the ground with the super kick, revving up the engine, revving up the engine. Run, 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 super kick! And now Kid Wild up to the top rope. Kid Wild sees the opportunity with the wild rush. The wild rush. And he hooks the leg of Shane Robinson. One, two, three. And Shane Robinson is eliminated at the hands of Kid Wild. Wait, DJ, DJ, super kick. Oh, he blocks it. Nearly snaked him. But Kid Wild saw it come and blocked it. Knife edge chop. Drop kick into the chest of DJ Hero. After rope clothesline, DJ ducks under the arm. Down to his knees. Oh, Alias captures him with that signature spinning neck breaker. Alias up to his feet, turns around, oh, Katana, 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 DJ to pin Alias, one, that's gotta be it, two, that's gotta be it, three, Alias kicks out again, oh my god, listen to the fans, Alias will not stay down, I will tell you that much, man, you've got AJ, you've got DJ, sorry, lining up the super kick again, who's he gonna hit it on, oh, Alias is up to his feet first, man, bad time for Alias to be right now, DJ, Sun, Seal, deliver to me, oh, Kid Wild cuts him off with a European uppercut, runs in, Kid Wild pulls Alias out, oh, jumps off that bottom rope, Hurricane Ron, and is low, straight into DJ Hero, DJ rolls on the back rope, angle slam, signature, Kid Wild, that's gotta be it, one, to eliminate Alias, two, to eliminate, oh, Alias kicks, oh my god, Alias kicks out, I told you, man, Alias does not freaking die, it's always been that way, man, this guy can take punishment like no other, and Kid Wild knows what he's gotta do, he's gotta put an exclamation mark on this, he's gotta hit him with the Wild Rush, He's got to hit him with the wild rush and end this here tonight. 
Signaling the wild rush. DJ's in the ring. DJ's in the ring. Oh, wait, wait. Grabs the foot. Oh, Kid Wild pushes him away. DJ, oh, kicks out the legs. DJ Katana from the middle rope. DJ with a katana from the middle rope. And DJ now looking at Alias. Looking at Kid Wild. Who's going to get up first? Oh, Kid Wild now. Trying to get up from that katana. He doesn't know what. There we go. Super kick. And DJ crumbles on top of him. One. Two. Three. And DJ eliminates Kid Wild. Leaving two. Leaving two. DJ Hero and Alias. The final two in the Cut Your Teeth elimination match here tonight. And Alias up to his feet. Alias up to his feet. And he looks at DJ. And DJ looks at Alias. Two Gen 1 talent. These guys know each other very well. Listen to the fans. Shannon, this is awesome. Who's going to come out on top? Is it DJ? Or is it Alias? Looking into the eyes of the opponent. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? What the hell? That's, that's Caesar Dan. Caesar Dan's music. Caesar Dan. The DJ and Alias. Look at the out. Look at the Tron. And here's Caesar Dan. Look at this. He's so cocky. I love this guy. I hate him, but I love him. Caesar Dan. I mean, he was in Cut Your Teeth. Technically, he shouldn't have been. He stole it from Jeff Gemini. Alias looking at DJ. And DJ looking at Caesar Dan. And so is Alias. DJ. Dan takes his top off and says, I should have been in this match. I'm the greatest cut the teeth competitor in XWF. Jeff Gemini shouldn't have even been in this match. I should have taken him out just like I did all those years ago. Oh, Gemini! Gemini spews him! Repentance from Jeff Gemini. Revenge for all those years ago where Caesar Dan... Oh, wait. DJ, turn around. Turn around. Dash it. Oh, no, he blocks it. He blocks it. Oh, man. Alias nearly caught DJ by surprise. It's all about the win for Alias. It's all about the win that DJ just about spider sensed it. And now Irish Whip bouncing him off. Oh, big shoulder check there from Alias. It comes down to these two as Jeff Gemini chases Caesar down away. And now it comes. No. Oh, neck breaker reversal. Whip cord. Whip cord knee. Whip cord knee. No. Kick to the abdomen. Oh, oh. Twisted neck breaker. No. Strike to the abdomen. Strike to the abdomen. These two guys know each other so well. Reversing everything they've got. Irish whip off the rope. Oh, clothesline from Alias. And another one cutting DJ Hero down to size under the arm goes Alias. Oh, DJ moves aside from the clothesline from Alias. Runs in. DJ Tonic. DJ. Oh, oh, escape power bomb. That's got to be over one. What a counter. Two. Three. No. 2.99999 and DJ still alive. He refuses to die here tonight. And Alias knows there's only one way to end this. He knows there's only one way to end this with a dark shark clothesline. Dark shark clothesline runs in. Oh, power slam! Power slam from DJ. And you can see Alias trying to get up. Tired, days confused. DJ, oh, right on the jaw. Clucks him with a super kick. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all she wrote. One, two, three. And ladies and gentlemen, DJ Hero picks up the victory here tonight. A brilliant match from all involved. Loved seeing all the Cut Your Teeth competitors return to the XWF. But ladies and gentlemen, your winner is Le Champion A, DJ Hero. Great match. You know, I said Alias can kick out of anything, but not necessarily anything, man. Not a super kick. You know, DJ hits that super kick better than anyone in the game. I stand by that. That right there was lights out for Alias. Great showcase from all these guys. Really enjoyed the match. But ladies and gentlemen, your winner is DJ Hero. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're backstage in the owner's office here. It's Tommy T. Thomas coming into the owner's office. And Tommy says, look, owner, I just want to say congratulations for 10 years of XWF. I really appreciate all that you have done to keep the XWA legacy alive. I know that we haven't always seen eye to eye, but I think that we're on the same page now. And the owner says, Tommy, I really appreciate the kind words, and I hope that XWA and you will continue to be a part of XWF for the next 10 years. And Tommy T. Thomas says, I promise you, we will. I really appreciate that, man. It's glad to see that. I'm glad to see that Tommy T. Thomas and the owner have finally put aside all their differences, you know. And I'm glad that the XWF continues to keep the XWA legacy alive. Either way, I believe next up, we're moving on to our main... Wait, what the hell? What, the, what, what is this? Ha <laughs> ha Greetings, citizens of the universe. It is I, 
the great clouds, bringer of destruction and chaos, ruler of the vast deep unknowns, creator of fine women's footwear and fancy frocks. You all know who I am. The boss told me I have to announce the final match. <laughs> He's given me a piece of paper to read. More fool him! He actually thinks I can read. I asked him to draw me a picture of the wrestlers using an etch sketch So here's the match! Johnny Extreme and Anfo versus Junction, with a partner of his choosing. Extreme rules, 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 rules. My goodness. What's so extreme about Johnny Extreme? Last time I heard, he was extremely useless. Ha <laughs> ha! About as useful as an origami soup bowl. I heard he still uses training wheels on his little bicycle. Ring ring, Johnny. Slow down there, Skipper. Don't want to be too extreme. Then there's that junction guy. Named after a road. Very clever. I was thinking of changing my name to Roundabout. I think you might get jealous, though. And let's not forget Antho, named after the Greek word for soft cheese. I'll let you into a little secret. I've hidden a small bottle of bubble mixture in his shoe. You know what Nanny used to say? Keep a bottle of bubbles in your shoe. Never know when you need a bubble or two. She was later arrested for human trafficking. Anyway, on with the show. Put on your 3D glasses now. Hello, Cleveland. You be the best you. Slide in. It's 2012, baby. Be the candy floss of your dreams. All right, then. Take care. All the best. Ta-ta. Love you all. Okay, look, I love Clowner Man, but he's fucking weird. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a main event. And I'm, I'm, man, I'm hyped for this. I think this is going to be a great match. I mean, you can hate these guys as much as you want. You can hate the Ace Johnny Extreme. You can hate Anthel, the internet champion. But I'll tell you this much, these guys are two of the best of all time. I'll stand by that, man. There's a reason they call Johnny Extreme the Ace. There's a reason he was number one in the UCT two years straight, and there's a reason that Antho is a Hall of Famer. These guys are incredible talents, you know, and, and that, that extends to every show they're ever on. These guys have been in a lot of shows, man. You know, and as, like I say, as much as you like to hate them, because I like to hate these fucking guys, especially Johnny Extreme when he does his little dances. As much as I hate them, you cannot deny just how talented they are. You know, between these guys, they make a great team to cover all the bases they need to cover. Antho has been a great internet champion. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing what he does with that title as we move into the next season. But for now, he will be wrestling alongside Team Canada partner Johnny Extreme. And these two guys will be facing the XWF World Heavyweight Champion Junction and a partner of his choosing. Who's he going to choose? I don't know. I hope it's Lord Lore. All right, let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, backstage junction, and someone says, "Hey, partner!" Oh, it's his partner. It's boy, it's Pumpkin Red, and he says, "Well, I'm not your partner, but I'm willing to come out of retirement to be your partner tonight." <laughs> and junction says, "Well, I appreciate the offer. I've got a partner for tonight, but thanks for the thought." And Pumpkin says, "They won't be as good as me, bro. <laughs> I bet they will. <laughs> they won't retire, that's for sure." And ladies and gentlemen, your XWF World Heavyweight Champion. Junction, the guy that won the title at Absolution 2 where he finally toppled his brother in a match that was in the top 10 matches of the year as said by CWO and I appreciate it. You know, I really enjoyed this match. Junction proved that he could finally be the XWF World Heavyweight Champion. That he could finally be that main eventer that he always wanted to be. He had to climb the mountain to do it. 10 years of mountains. But he got there, man. He got there and he beat damage a guy that not many people could beat. And right now, this guy, the XWF World Heavyweight Champion Junction, successfully defending his title against Alias on Tremors. A great match. You know, Alias, an all-time great. Junction managed to beat him and retain his title. And tonight, he will wrestle against Team Canada in a main event Extreme Rules match. Who has he picked for his partner? Very excited to see him. Very excited to see him. Junction looking ready for action, man. He looks he looks at home. He looks like a champion with that belt. I can't deny it. 
But who has he picked for his partner? I'm ready. Oh, yes! I should have guessed, man. I'm up for this. There wasn't going to be a 10-year anniversary show without this guy. There was not going to be a 10-year anniversary show without Nightmare and this guy right here. This guy right here, one of the pillars of XWF. You know, I like. I know shows like to start showing, throwing around the four pillars of this show. The four pillars of that show. Well, this guy right here is a pillar of XWF. This guy right here is Nightmare. And you know, he wasn't as a, he wasn't as prevalent. Whatever the fuck, I don't know, man. I don't speak the fucking language. I just talk language, man. He wasn't, he wasn't here for a lot of the last season. But when he was, he made an impact, man. Absolution in a cage match against the undefeated mongrel. A nightmare finally toppled his cousin. He, he put his career on the line. That's how much he knew that he had to beat mongrel. And he did it. It didn't come without blood. It didn't come without sweat. It didn't come without tears. It didn't come without pain, punishment, and soreness. But he did it. And now Nightmare is here looking better than ever. You know, Nightmare... He has been incredible this year. I hope to see him in the top 25. I hope to see him in the top 25, man. He might even be there. I'm sure we're going to see him. But ladies and gentlemen, he is the partner that Junction has chosen. Nightmare and Junction team up Extreme Rules against Team Cat here tonight in the main event. I think this is going to be a good match. There's a lot of star power in the ring here tonight. I say we get this show on the road, ladies and gentlemen. Nightmare Junction. Anto, Johnny Extreme. Let's do this. Oh, Anto, it's going Nightmare. Grabs Anto in a snap there. Junction throwing strikes at Johnny Extreme. Look at this. Pulls Johnny away. Oh, Junction off the rope. Step up, kick in the face there. And now Anto turns around. Oh, cross trap from Nightmare. Johnny blocking the offense from Junction. Strike to the forehead there from Junction. And Nightmare attacking Anto in the corner. Junction runs in, close lights Johnny to the outside. Right over the top rope. And look at this junction now turning around. Nightmare lifting Anto up to his feet. Nightmare throws Anto into the turnbuckle, into the corner. And now Junction taking his turn of Anto. Kick, 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 kick. Right in the chest. All stump in the cavity. And Anto tries to climb his way out of the ring. Classic junction with that springboard to the outside guillotine. And now Junction, look at this, all dives over the top rope with that Laurita. Beautifully done. Leg hook one. Leg hook two to put Anto away to pick up the victory. No, not enough. Oh, elbow drop. Anto kicks out a pin and eats an elbow for his quarries. And now Junction. Turn around, turn around. Springboard clothesline. Springboard drop kick there from Johnny Extreme. Nightmare reverse suplex on the ace. Johnny Extreme. Oh, elbows his way out of it. Johnny Extreme. Big suplex on Nightmare. Johnny Extreme now runs in and a kick to the back of the head. Anto still trying to get up from that assault there from Junction and Nightmare. But now, this is where Team Canada become like vultures. Like hyenas in a pack where it's two on one. And look at this lifting up Nightmare, lifting up Nightmare. Oh, gut buster on both their knees. This is the tag team chemistry of Anto and Johnny Extreme. And now just cross face strikes there from Anto to Nightmare. Nightmare Johnny Extreme puts his knee on the back of Nightmare's head. Cutting Nightmare down in the ring and Junction trying to get back up to help Nightmare and Johnny punches him off the apron. Johnny Extreme now going up to follow up on Junction and now Anto picking Nightmare up to his feet. Big strike to the face like a concrete breeze block to the face. Irish whipping to the corner, running a knee to the abdomen. Nightmare goes into a seated position and now Anto just stomping on the chest cavity. Oh god, it could break a rib cage, could break the chest. And Team Canada using that tag team chemistry to control the match now as they throw Junction into that audience barrier. And again, from Johnny Extreme runs in. Oh, Junction blocks the strike. Big left hand strike. Kick to the abdomen. Junction trying to turn the pace back in his favor. Look at this. Pulls Johnny Extreme back first into the audience barrier. And Johnny Extreme goes down to the ground. Look at Junction keeping an eye on what's going on in the ring as Anto tries to lift Nightmare up. Oh, big knee trembler to the face and Anto goes down and now Junction picks Anto up to his feet. Strikes from Nightmare and Junction from Nightmare and Junction. Look at this now Junction. Irish whip bouncing Anto off. Oh, signature Junction with that jumping knee to the face of Anto. And now Nightmare and Junction need to get on the same page and start working like a well-oiled machine like Team Canada. Junction moves out the way so Nightmare can run in with a big clothesline to Anto. And now Nightmare gets the leg hooked on Anto. That is one. That is two to put Anto away. And Anto again kicks out and sits up. Still alive. 
a look at this nightmare grabbing the head of Abdul. Junction going in to get Johnny Extreme. Wait, wait, Johnny's up, Johnny's up! Oh, and he pulls two feet down on Junction's face, face first onto the onto the apron. And now Johnny Extreme just using that MMA background. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. Double hand palm strikes a junction. Nightmare turns around to Johnny. Goes for a strike. Johnny forearm smash sweeps out the leg. This is why it's the ace now. Swings in with an elbow to Nightmare. Now Johnny to pin Nightmare. That is one. That is two. To put Nightmare away. And no, it's not enough. Nightmare kicks out. You can see Johnny entering disappointed, but he knows that he's got to stay on the attack. Junction trying to recover on the outside, but once again, this puts Nightmare in the ring on his own with two members of Team Canada and Junction. Jack Johnny smashes his head, kick to the knee, kick to the knee again, and now Johnny grabs the arm of Nightmare. Iris Whip lining him up, runs, runs, runs in. Oh, big back elbow from Nightmare, cuts him off, and Abdo cuts Nightmare off with a neckbreaker drop. And now Antho picking Nightmare up to his feet. Oh, chest chop, chest chop. Antho chops the hardest in the game. And look at this. Antho puts Nightmare in between the ropes and all pulls the arm. Whip lashing, using the rope as a weapon. So violent, so vicious, so vindictive is Antho. But that's why he's so good at what he does. And now Antho going to check on Junction. This is this is why you're good, man. Because they don't leave any stone unturned. They know what they got to do. Keep him down. Keep him separate. And keep him on the ground. And Anto with a couple of strikes to the back of Junction's head. And look at that. Oh, face first onto the steel stairs. And now Antho looking under the ring. It's extreme rules, man. He's got a kendo stick. Oh, this is a bad place to be. Nightmare. As Johnny tries to pick him up. And he drives through him with a clothesline. Like a fucking bullet train. And now Nightmare grabbing Johnny. Arms whipping to the corner. Runs in. Oh, Johnny sidesteps. Moves in the sweat. Slides through him with a schoolboy to try and pin Nightmare by surprise. For the cover one. For the cover two. Nightmare kicks out just before the three. Not enough. Trying to get up from that schoolboy. Caught by surprise. Johnny runs in. Oh, and knees Nightmare through the middle rope. And Johnny sees the opportunity for that signature barrel roll. Oh, hey, that's why he's the ace. That is why he's the ace, man. People can do that move, but no one does it like Johnny Extreme. Oh, Anto with the kendo stick now attacking the XWF World Heavyweight Champion. And once again, Team Canada using that expertise to take control of this match. Anto picking Junction up to his feet, throws him back into the ring. Keep him separate. That is, oh, now Anto going under the ring again. What's he got in mind? Anto got that solid wood table i know you guys love it when i call it the solid wood table and that's why i call it it and now anto coming in to get junction junction trying to recover johnny extreme's got nightmare against the barrier just driving fist into his skull over there you can see him in the background and now anto kicks junction down oh man team canada controlling this match right now as he puts him up to a he's gonna power bomb him out the ring through the table not like this oh junction fight back strike to the face strike to the face for survival for survival instinct kicks in and now junction throws anto over the top rope oh he's teetering it all goes to strike him anto blocks it neither of these two want to go through the table junction runs in but anto kicks him in the face and now anto gets in the ring grabs him oh junction kicks him in the abdomen junction kicks him in the right hand left strike left hand strike again oh what's junction got oh junction junction he's gonna lift him the strength of junction he's gonna throw him out the ring he's gonna backfire him out the ring oh anto full string going to his feet jumps over junction with a strike strike to the face goes anto what's anto oh anto puts him up onto oh god he's gonna throw him over the top rope junction hold on to the ropes he don't want to go strike to the face and anto lets go of him junction holds on teetering teetering Junction grabs Anto, head under the arm, oh, suplex on the apron, oh, oh, good after the table, and both men come crumbling down. Junction and Anto down, Junction and Anto down after a table suplex from the inside of the ring to the outside, and Johnny looks over and he realizes, oh, shit, oh, shit, Anto's down. Johnny knows he's got to control his pace now. He's been taking the fight to Nightmare, and Johnny's got to get a weapon. Johnny's got to steal chair. He knows he's got to use it. Nightmare up to his feet. Johnny wants it. Oh, God. oh, my God. Nightmare just put his foot through the cranium of Johnny Extreme and he stamps on the back of his head. And now Johnny picking Johnny. Nightmare picks him up. Spine busters him onto the steel chair. Think of what that does to the spinal column. One, two, to beat him. Three, oh, Johnny Extreme kicks out. Brazilian is Johnny Extreme eating a spine buster onto a steel chair but now Nightmare can start kick taking back control with a massive forearm and Johnny goes down like a sack of spuds
And now Nightmare's got that chair that Johnny brought in. And Johnny's in a bad place right now as he lifts up to his... Oh! Chair shot to the abdomen! Nightmare! Oh! Chair shot to the chest cavity! Johnny holding his chest! Oh! Chair shot to the back! Nightmare throws the chair onto Johnny. Elbow drops the chest and elbow drops the chair into his chest. That's the nightmare I love to see for the one. That could be over two. That could be three. No. Johnny Extreme kicks out of an elbow drop with a chair. And now Nightmare picking Johnny up to his feet. What has he got in mind? Johnny looks like he can't even hold his weight up. Looks like a strong winker blowing down with his big right hand strikes of Nightmare. Nightmare bounces Johnny off the rope. Johnny off the rope. Just oh, deep six from Nightmare. Delivering move after move on Johnny Extreme. And I would not want to be Johnny Extreme right now. Nightmare going for the Devastator. End it. End it. No, Johnny fights for survival. Elbow shot. Elbow shot. Elbow shot to the face of Nightmare. Johnny Irish whip. Nightmare reversal. Nightmare reversal, head under the arm, lifts Johnny Extreme up onto that top. Oh, shades of Lord Lore, the signature super, super backdrop of Lord Lore. He's got him, he's got him. Oh, there it goes. Oh, Johnny turns in the midair into a crossbody and takes Nightmare down. But Junction's back in the ring. Johnny turned around, bicycle kick. Signature Junction, that's got to be it. That's got to be it. That is one. That is two to put Johnny Extreme away and Johnny kicks out. Johnny kicks out of the bicycle kick, the signature maneuver of Junction. What's Junction got to do to keep Johnny down? You can see Anto trying to get up to his feet from that table suplex. But Junction up onto the top rope. And Johnny Extreme diving frog splash signature move. Junction, Junction turn around. Anto's back in. Anto, A, A, O. He hits the finisher. That could be it. He could pin the champion here tonight on the 10 year anniversary. One, two. He's got him. Nightmare breaks the pin. Milliseconds away, saving Junction, strike to the face, strike to the back of Anto's head, Nightmare strike to the face, oh Nightmare back steps, runs in, close on, and both men go cascading to the outside, crumbling to the ground, this Nightmare and Anto. In the ring, you got Junction, you got Johnny, both men down, both men trying to crawl up to their feet, trying to breathe in air into their lungs, into their bloodstream, but both men are down, and this is a critical point of this match, as Junction tries to get up from that AKO, Johnny tries to get up from that frog splash, Johnny strikes a, and, oh, he kicks, push cancel, no, oh, oh my god, he went for a push cancel, Junction blocked it, Johnny spat around and kicked him in the face. And now Anto, jump, Anto down, Junction, oh, he eats the snap there. <laughs> Sensation drop kicks, hey, that's from Johnny Extreme. <laughs> you know where this goes, you know where this goes. It goes for a 6.30, and if he hits it, this could be lights out for Junction. Johnny signal, signals the 6.30, here it comes, 6.30, oh, Junction moves out the way. Junction moves out the way. Johnny trying to get up to his feet, Junction head under the arm, Ooh, thunder bomb. And he hits it, Anto's back in, Anto's in the ring, runs in. Oh, close line from the XWF World Heavyweight Champion. Junction lifts him up. Oh, Manhattan drop. Lands him down on his ground. Oh, leg drop to the stomach. Oh, basement drop kick in the face. And Johnny and Anto are down. And now Nightmare's back in the ring. And Nightmare and Junction both turning up to the fans. And they're cheering for him. They're cheering for him. Johnny and Go Team Canada up to their feet. Oh, oh, Devastator and Backfire at the same time. Devastator and Johnny Street Backfire and Anto. The finishing maneuvers hit in unison from Nightmare and Junction. Leg hook for the cover one. For the cover two. For the cover three. Nightmare and Junction, the World Heavyweight Champion, pick up the victory here tonight. Epic match, epic match with the Devastator and Backfire combo was enough for Junction and Nightmare to put away Team Canada here tonight on the 10 year anniversary show. I loved this match, I loved it. Big match from four great talents, but here tonight on the 10 year show, your winners are the XWF World Heavyweight Champion Junction and Nightmare. Love seeing these guys work together, man. Brilliant. You know, really, really good. Team Canada, I won't take anything away from them. They put these guys through their paces, you know. AKO on the World Heavyweight Champion. Johnny Extreme beating the hell out of Nightmare. But tonight, when it comes down to it, when it comes down to the one, to the two, to the three, Nightmare and Junction come out on top. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate 10 years of support, whether you've been here from day one, whether you joined here tonight. Thank you for being on this journey with us. UCT, I love you guys. Appreciate every single one of you that works on shows, that watches shows, that reviews shows, whatever. This community has been incredible. 
I love you guys. I'm the bear. Peace out. And please continue to support the UCT shows. I'm the bear. Peace out. I'm